The kiss between the two men did not take place on Melrose Place the other night. They didn't have the two guys kiss. They filmed it. They filmed the kiss, but then the Fox Network decided not to show it. <laughs> Boy, think how annoy annoyed those two actors are, huh? Uh, the guy's going, what? You mean I kissed him? I'm not even using it. What are you talking about? And finally, been an awful lot of talk about these genetically engineered tomatoes. You've probably heard about these things. They have a longer shelf life. They can grow year-round. Scientists say, listen to this. This is amazing. Scientists say that soon they'll be able to combine a citrus gene with a gene from Michael Jackson <laughs> to get an orange that actually squeezes itself. It would be <laughs> Well, Jay, it's time to take a wild guess. All right. Welcome to a special New York edition of Take a Wild Guess, the game where geniuses and morons have an equal shot at winning. Uh, let's get to play the game. Who would like to play? Anybody here? Huh? You want to play? Uh, all right, come on over here. How are you? Come on over here. Hi, what's your name? Tara. Tara, come on over here. Okay, Tara. Now, you may have noticed security very tight here in NBC. You notice that? Yeah. Okay, you can't get in the building unless you have like an ID card or, or you know, a license or a special, special pass of some kind. Do you think that someone would be able to sneak in, like a famous person? Could a famous person sneak in with no ID to get past security guys just because they're well known? No. Well, you don't think so? No. Oh, we put a hidden camera downstairs at the entrance. We had Marla Maples Trump try to get past the NBC security guards. Because a lot of these look-alike people, you know, these look-alike people, and tell them, do you think she could get in without showing an ID? No. You don't think so? No. Okay, you say no. All right, let's go to the hidden camera footage. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Great, how are you doing? doing Terrific. I came to see Jay Leno. Okay, you go to the eighth floor. So okay. You know, Great, thank you so much. Have a good day. Nice to see you. Thank you. Piece of cake. I'm sorry, you guessed wrong. No, 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 look. So if you ever wonder how the lone gunman got to me, ladies and gentlemen, that's how. But we do have a lovely, lovely prize. Do we have something special for this one here? Oh, the lovely Marla Maples, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Nice to see you've got to believe in the power of a woman, though. You've got to believe in that. It's a hat. For you, a Thank special you. Tonight Show Jay Leno hat. I want one. And a book that I think, I think works. You should try it. Aren't you Trump of the deal? What are the odds of that? Thank you, Marla. Nice Thank to you. See you. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right, let's pick somebody else. Who would like to play? Uh, how are you? Nice to see you. What is your name? Brian. What is it? Brian. Brian, what do you do? Go to school. Go to school? Okay, what, what school do you go to? East Meadow High School. Oh, East Meadow High School. Okay, all righty, all righty. Now, huh? Joe Rifkin. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, everyone in showbiz knows that New York audience is tough to please because they've seen it all. It takes a lot to impress them. We have two gentlemen on the stage who will attempt to impress this audience right now. Here we have Todd Robbins in the right there. He's from Manhattan. That's Todd. Now, Todd's skill is to break a light bulb and then eat the broken glass. <laughs> Next to him is Tom uh, McKittrick. He's from Lowell, Massachusetts. Tom will swallow a balloon, blow it out through his nose, and inflate. <laughs> now, knowing that New Yorkers are tough to please, which of these two guys do you think will impress the audience more? Which one do you think? A guy who uh, eats a, a light bulb and swallows it? Or the guy who... Now, these are not tricks. They're really doing it. There's no trick involved. They really do this. Which one do you think would be more impressed? The light bulb guy. You think the light bulb guy? All right. Well, all right, hang on, let's find out. Todd, Todd, eat the light bulb. That is okay. a real light bulb, nothing phony. Here we go. Okay, take the light bulb out. Okay. Mazel tov. Okay. Okay, eating the balloon. This is not a guy you want to kiss later on. will do anything to get on TV, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay, he really ate, he really ate the glass. There you go. All right, there you go. Thank you, Todd. Thank you now. Final 
Okay, hang on, now let's go to Tom. Tom, uh, let's see you swallow the balloon and then blow it out your nose. Okay, now you pick the glass guy, okay? What are you saying, no way? I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it? Okay, watch this. safe to say the balloon guy okay. all right the balloon guy i'm sorry sir all right all righty let's pick another audience member here uh, come on down here come on down here all right what's your name my name's pam pam what do you do i'm a police sergeant in co-op city oh just undercover are you trailing these two pinheads from school here is that one of are you supposed to be in school that's where they are supposed to be now people say some of the best dancers in the world are right here in new york city and that's true but how skilled are these dancers? Do you think it's possible for a dancer to tap out a message in Morse code which could be understood by a, me a member of our uh, armed forces? Yes. You do? All right, well, tomorrow is Armed Forces Day, and here to help us perform our, our test is Staff Sergeant Stephen uh, Bordas from the 2nd Battalion, 25th Marines, out of Garden City, New Jersey. There he is. There he is. All righty. And this is his most difficult assignment yet. Oh, there oh, we got a smile out of him. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, man. Now, he will attempt to uh, decipher the Morse code tapped out by the Pink Girls from the award-winning Broadway musical Crazy For You, now playing the Jupiter Theater. The Pink Ladies, ladies and gentlemen. All righty. Now, folks, as you know, Morse code is made up of dots and dashes. Ladies, could you show us a dash? Six, seven, uh, that would be a dash. Now uh, show us a dot. Six, seven, <laughs> okay. Now uh, Staff Sergeant Bordas, uh, he doesn't know what the message is. They will tap it out. <laughs> Ladies, if ready to tap out the message, let's do it. Go ahead. And? The sergeant thinking intently. <laughs> Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, Sergeant? Sergeant, would you like to see that exclamation point again? Yes. Uh, yes, sir. We'll okay, we see the exclamation point one more time. Exclamation point. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, Sergeant? Okay, just a second. Do you think you have it or do you need another try? Uh, Jay, it'd probably help immensely if I could see that number again. Okay, quickly, very quickly. Tap it out one more time. Typical New York phrase, it's uh, yo taxi. Ladies, what's the message? What is the message, ladies? Yo taxi! That's correct, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. That's all the time we have, folks. And you guessed right, good for you. We'll be right back with Howard Stern right after this.